Stitch Sprouts is proud to present Technique Tuesday, your weekly source of knitting and crochet tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to pick up and knit stitches. I have a couple different edges to show you, different variations on how to do this. So I have some garter stitch with just plain and then garter stitch with a slip stitch edge and then some stockinette. So I'm going to show you how to pick up and knit all along these different types of edges. So regular garter stitch has these little nubs and usually when you pick up and knit along this edge they'll tell you to pick up a stitch in each of the garter ridges. So that means that you're going to insert your needle into each one of these little nubs along the edge. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to put your needle into each one of these ridges like this. And then you're going to wrap your yarn like you would knit and pull the yarn through the fabric. Okay, and that's knitting one stitch. So then you go into the next knob or ridge, wrap as to knit, and pull it through the fabric. So it's like the fabric is your other stitch, or like a stitch on the needle. This one, it looks like I split the stitch a little bit. It's okay. So through this wrap, and bring it through, through, wrap, and bring it through, through, wrap, and bring it through. So that's picking up one stitch for each garter ridge. So you can see each one of these garter ridges now has a stitch coming off of the end. Okay, now this set of garter stitches, garter ridges, has a slip stitch on the edge. Now slip stitches are much easier to pick up. Okay, so you can see both legs of the slip stitch and along the edge I have these nice big gaps. See that? You can see my finger shining through the air. So I'm just going to insert my needle right into that gap. It's much easier to do. Wrap again as to knit, oops, and pull through. See that big, nice open hole? Insert, wrap, and pull through. So it's much easier to pick up and knit when you have a slip stitch edging. And a lot of patterns will have you do that kind of slip stitch edging specifically because they're going to have you pick up and knit stitches along the edge because they know it's going to be easier for you to do. Okay, let's do one more here. There we go. Now what about in stockinette stitch? Now I didn't do a slip stitch edge here so I just have regular stitches along the side. Now in stockinette your stitch gauge is often different from your row gauge. And so what a lot of patterns will have you do is pick up, say, three stitches for every four rows. That's a common ratio. So you'll count. Here's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so what you'll end up doing is you'll pick up, say, here, and you wanna wrap and bring through. That's one. Two. Three. And then what they wanted you to do is skip one. And then pick up one two, three. 
And what that's going to do is space out your stitches so that you're not having too many stitches for how many rows you have. One, two, three. Because typically a stitch is wider than a row is tall in stockinette. And there you go. And now we have stitches picked up all along the side of our little swatch. And that's how you pick up and knit stitches. Thank you for joining us for this Technique Tuesday. If you have any questions about this video or if you want to suggest other techniques for us to demo, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Stitch Sprouts.